Video games have been getting a lot of boost in popularity from the TV adaptations they've been getting this year. Shows like Cyberpunk Edge Runners and Arcane have brought their video game counterparts even more fans than before because of the amazing lore and storytelling techniques. Now, The Last of Us aims to do the same with their new TV series on HBO, and the cast for Ellie isn't worried about disappointing anyone. Let's get into it. First off, the trailer drop that caused the hype and mayhem. We won't lie, the trailer alone is a cinematic masterpiece. It's intense, emotional, and suspenseful all at once. Even with its funnier moments, we can't help but admire the talent that's come together to create this show. With 14 million views on YouTube alone six days since its release, we know people are looking forward to this show. Expectations are high since it's being presented to us by the Emmy Award winner creator of Chernobyl. The stakes are even higher as people are already talking about how well the show will be received. One of the bigger concerns is how lighting might impact the show. It's different in the game, since lighting's tightly controlled to create a scarier experience of being within a possible zombie ambush. But how will this same suspense translate into a show? If it's too dark to interpret anything, it could cost the story a lot of needed clarity and only confuse the watchers, something that's been seen in shows like Game of Thrones and a few Batman movies. Very few TV adaptations utilize lighting well, and we're hoping this is a mistake The Last of Us will avoid. Maybe we're judging it too early? The trailer seems to do a more than okay job when it comes to the dimmer scenes, and hopefully, that'll also continue throughout the entire series. Up next, fans are already worried about the storyline. It's nothing new and a totally valid concern. There's a lot that goes into doing justice to the source material, but the world's come pretty far when it comes to technology and its advantages. There's talk about how well the TV show will perform in comparison to the game itself, but if we consider the trends of the past year or so, we really don't think there's a lot to worry about. In fact, a sizable number of video games have second-hand consumers. Simply put, a lot of people would rather watch other people play video games for the story rather than play it themselves. Now, we're not sure why this happens, and it's a strangely growing community as well. It's not too surprising. Otherwise, game streamers on platforms like Twitch and YouTube wouldn't be so popular, right? In a way, having a TV show is something that the producers of certain video games should be diving into, because a lot of people would love to get into the fandom in a relatively stress-free scenario. A lot of games are fast-paced, competitive, and require a lot of cohesive mobility that isn't easy to practice quickly enough. Another issue with most video games is that they're too expensive. Some are even hyper-specific to certain consoles, and there are only so many gaming devices anyone can afford. TV shows based on a video game's lore offer a lot of enrichment and opportunity for connecting with a fan base in another medium altogether. Now for Bella Ramsey offers reassurance to fans. Starring as Ellie, one of the main protagonists of The Last of Us, Bella Ramsey's pretty optimistic about how the HBO TV series will turn out. I'm so excited to be part of it. It's one of the only games I'd actually heard of pre like previous to filming it. Um, I've fans can expect uh, similar themes to the game and like it'll feel very familiar but with a, like a whole a whole new fresh of air. At the CCXP 2022 panel in Brazil, she acknowledged the skepticism that longtime fans of the video game had with the current development of the franchise. Since Sony first released The Last of Us in 2013, players of the game have found themselves extremely attached to the characters in the game. The protectiveness is especially endearing, and Ramsey offered consolation with a lot of excitement for the amount of work put into this project. The 19-year-old has sadly been subject to a lot of criticism ever since the plans for the TV show were announced, but she's kept her head high through it all. She spoke about the different experiences the show will offer, while accepting that the game's immersive quality has undeniably played a huge role in the reaction she's been getting so far. She talked about the elements of the original gameplay being featured in the show to offer it more authenticity as well. With her empathetic approach to the fans' feelings, she spoke gently about their worries and reminded them them that she was going to have fun with the making of the show, and that she couldn't take responsibility for people disliking it when it came out. If people hate the show, they'll hate the show, she said. Coming up, Pedro Pascal weighs in on the development aspect. Staying in line with the empathetic approach Ramsey displayed, Pascal, starring as Joel, stated that he was understanding of the criticism since he was a big consumer of TV and film himself. He revealed that the video game's writer and co-director, Neil Druckmann, was also very involved in the production of the series. Series. Hopefully, this will give fans one less thing to worry about. Pascal talked about how much love everyone had for the story and that they were all trying their best to make sure it worked in everyone's favor. I have no idea if we pulled it off, he admitted, and followed up with how hard the team worked on the show. He's hopeful that, no matter what happens, people 
people will be appreciative of the efforts. Really though, how hard could it be? Zombie movies and TV shows usually do pretty well, and the plot for The Last of Us is pretty great. In an apocalyptic world infested with the undead, 14-year-old Ellie's the only known living being with immunity from the plague. Fireflies, a militant revolutionary group, is the only known organization capable enough to produce the necessary vaccine against the plague, and it's up to Joel Miller to bring Ellie to the Fireflies safely. Let's look at Pedro Pascal's fatherly bond with Bella Ramsey. The cast that arrived at the panel talked about their experiences with shooting the series, especially Pascal and Ramsey, who plays the main duo of the show. Some of their comments were published on the show's official Twitter account. During the chat, Pascal said that he and Ramsey hit it off right away, and that having Ramsey helped him understand The Last of Us's setting was really helpful. There was an instant connection since they were both entering the experience at the same moment. To make Joel laugh is, I think, Ellie's greatest achievement, said Bella Ramsey. The father-daughter chemistry between the two is also pretty obvious in the trailer. Ellie's character is lovable, funny, and childish, like any 14-year-old would be. When paired with Joel's deep and grumpy demeanor, it gives us a pretty funny pair. But Craig Mazin, the screenwriter for the show, warned fans that they weren't pulling any punches with emotions. Just like in the game, the show contains a lot of heartbreaks, and the audience should be prepared for it all. Well, it is a zombie movie after all. There will be many meaningful characters to get attached to besides Ellie and Joel, most of whom we know will face an untimely and a horrible demise. It was important to adopt beloved moments that fans know in the game, Pascal added, and these moments only add to the hard-hitting scenes that are sure to make fans cry. To him, it's a pretty terrifying experience because he knows how meaningful the story is to the fans. Finally, what do the others have to say? The many cast members of the show have nothing but praise for the way the show's been written. In an interview, Murray Bartlett, who plays Frank, revealed that the series has one of the best hours of television, pointing to moments where Ellie and Joel must make morally impossible and traumatizing decisions to survive the apocalyptic landscape. They also commented on their off-screen friendships and how that plays into the quality of the relationships in the show. According to Pascal, their authentic bond is easy to translate into the show, making the work much easier than he'd initially anticipated. It's safe to say that everyone on the set's heavily invested in doing their best. The panel discussion at CCXP offered a lot of reassurance to the fans, and most are now pretty ecstatic about it. Here's to hoping The Last of Us fandom only grows bigger from here onwards. While most TV show adaptations of video games may have disappointed fans before, we're seeing a slow change in the industry, finally prioritizing all the right things and doing the source material plenty of justice. It was a long time change, but it's finally here, and the trailer looks especially promising. The show will premiere on HBO on the 15th of January, 2023, and will also be available for streaming on HBO Max. And that's a wrap. Are you guys looking forward to the show? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If this is the kind of content you like, be sure to drop this video a like and also hit the subscribe button so you're up to date.